Let's take a look at how to change the colors of icons, headings, and text editors when you hover over any part of the container they're in. You can also rotate them, move them around, or change their size. It's very simple. It just takes a little bit of CSS, so let's get into it. Now, I already have my containers over here. Nothing special, just three containers nested inside another container. I'm gonna be working on the first one, and inside it, I have an icon, a heading, and a text editor. All we have to do is add in the appropriate classes to our elements and target them correctly. Now for the headings and the icons, there's a little catch, something we have to be aware of. Especially for the icons, you have to keep an extra thing in mind. I'll get into that in a second. But before we jump into actual Elementor, let's start by going over the CSS we're going to be using. Of course, it's going to be available down below. It's very simple. You're going to notice we have four different classes over here. We have a class called container, a class called heading, a class called icon and a class called text. So one for our container, one for our heading, one for our icon and one for our text editor. Now these classes can be absolutely anything you want them to be, they just have to match. So if you add in a class called daisies to your container, instead of using the container class to target that container, you're gonna have to use the class called daisies to target that container. And by extension, you have to rename the class from container to daisies everywhere. So apart from the classes and some details being different, everything follows the same structure. So first we have our normal state for every element and then we have our hover state. So for our container, we just add in the hover styling like this, but for every other element, first we have to target the container and give it a hover state and then we target the element. That way, when you hover over any part of the container, the style you set here is applied to the class you're targeting. That is how we get our hover effect to work on any part of the container. Now onto the fun stuff, let's go into Elementor. In Elementor, our containers are easy. We do not need to add in a background color because we'll do it with CSS. So we just go into our container, go under advanced, and at CSS classes, we're gonna give it a class called container. For all of the other elements, it's the same thing. I'm gonna go into my icon, go under advanced, and give it a CSS class called icon. I'm gonna give my heading a CSS class called heading, and I'm gonna give my text editor a CSS class called text. So now we can paste in our CSS. So I'm gonna go into my container, advanced, custom CSS, and paste my CSS in here. If you want to apply this to your whole website, you're just gonna go into your admin bar, press customize, press additional CSS and paste it in here. I'm gonna be working here though. So now I added in my classes and I added in my CSS and as you can tell, it works. But before you rush off and do it yourself, hear me out. There are two things you have to keep in mind. If we go into our CSS over here and we look at heading, you'll notice it's not just the class we added to our heading, there's also H2 over here. Now what is this? The thing is, if we target our heading, we also need to add the HTML tag that is applied to that heading. By default, this is going to be h2. But if you set a different HTML tag to your heading, which you likely will for SEO purposes, you have to change it to match in the CSS as well. So if I add an h4 tag to my heading, the hover no longer works. I also have to change it in my CSS. So I'm gonna go into my container, advanced, custom CSS, and I'm gonna change the h2 to h4. And it works again. So that's for the headings. Now for the icon, we do not have an issue with tags. We just have to add in SVG. But the catch is you have to add in your own icon for this to work. What do I mean by that? Well, if I go ahead and duplicate my container over here and delete this one, and I go into my icon, you're gonna see it's a custom icon. It's an uploaded SVG. Using an icon from the icon library will not work. Just make sure that when you do add in your icon, you have exported it as a pure black. So the code for that is hashtag followed by six zeros. Anything other than that, and you will not be able to change the color of the icon. It is just going to stay the color you uploaded it in. And of course, the hover color change is not going to work either. Luckily, you can combine this with different effects that will work with any icon, and of course headings and text editors as well. Just keep in mind that the icon still has to be a custom icon, so an icon that is not from the icon library. So the way we would approach this is we're gonna go into our CSS again. Now we can make our elements bigger, smaller, we can rotate them, we can move them left, right, up or down, and we do all that by adding in a CSS transform property. Let's say I want to make my icon bigger, so I'm gonna add in a transform scale, 1.5 for example. And as you can see, the icon gets bigger when I hover over the container. And I can make the transition duration slower 
make it really slow or really fast. It doesn't matter. You can change all of these values, of course. To also rotate it, we would just add in rotate, let's say 30 degrees. Now, if I want to move it up, down, left or right, I would just add in translate. And the first value is going to control if it moves left or right. So I'm going to put that to zero. And the second value is going to control if it moves up or down. So I'm going to put that to minus 30, which is going to move it up. Don't forget to add in your unit. So pixels in my case, and it's a little funky. So if I remove the rotate, we get something like this. And obviously you can apply these to anything. So even our headings, we can make our heading bigger. Now I added in some CSS to make this responsive as well. You'll notice the CSS in the video is slightly different than the one down below. That's because I tried to make this one as simple as possible. And the one down below is a little bit more universal and you can just delete parts you do not need. So no worries, it's going to work the same. If you want your effects to happen on mobile, just go ahead and delete all of this. If you don't though, and want to disable them on mobile, this part of the CSS will remove the transform animations. So scale, rotate, translate, just delete the parts that apply to anything you're not using. And this part will neutralize the color changes. We do that by making sure the colors here are the same as our normal colors. So our pre hover colors. So the colors on mobile don't change, but they do on desktop and tablet. So if I remove this for the icon, you can see the hover happens. You can of course change the values of everything as well. So you can make the color on desktop go from purple to white. And you can make the color on mobile go from purple to green. The same thing applies to the transform properties. You can change the values, make them different for each device. In this case, I set the scale for my icon to 1.5 on desktop and to five on mobile. If you want to make your elements scale up a lot or even quite literally move out of the way and not go outside of the container, just go into your container, go under layout, go to additional options and set the overflow to hidden. And what you can do with that, for example, is make your icon scale up so much that it basically replaces the background or any other number of options. As you can see, the possibilities are endless to make this content clickable, because if we're adding in hover effects, chances are we want it to be clickable. We're just going to go under the container we want to make clickable, go into layout, additional options, and under HTML tag, we're going to choose a link and then just add in your link over here. And now this has a cool hover effect and you can click anywhere and it works. I hope this video was helpful. Check out this video next for more awesome content. Hit that thumbs up and thank you for watching.